Pancakes are the best pancakes in the whole world. Chow down, eat up, and fill out that uniform, little soldier. <laughs> You're gonna make your Uncle Hogwash proud. We always oh. remember our motto. The Antarctic core is a cold core, but it's... A lot of fun! Is hot. Our motto is... The Antarctic core is a cold core, but it is a good core. Junior. Hooey, that's a really swell motto, huh? Mm -hmm, I gotta write that down. No more pancakes until you have completed your daily duties. Now, do them all, do them well, and do not report back to me until they are done. As you were, soldier. Ooh. Hi, come back here, you. Oh, it's a cute little old penguin thief. Bye-bye, <laughs> penguin. Let's see. The first thing I gotta do is secure the perimeter of the base. Wow, the perimeter goes all around the base. This can make a soldier dizzy. Handles pancake thieves. The guard on duty. Ooh, that's me! Stop! Ah! Ooh. Hmm. Soft snow. <laughs> you get back here with those flapjacks before I tell my uncle. Mm, better not tell uncle. <laughs> I gotta do is to clean the top secret mosquito bomb launcher. Mm, when I did this in training class, I itched for a month. Step one, remove the mosquito bomb from the launching mechanism. I know right where that is. And put it out of harm's way. Here it'd be good. Perfect. Step two. A good soldier needs to be able to do this operation blindfolded. Mm, I don't remember this part from training school. Now remove the scope. Where's the scope? Here's Scopey Scopey. Very sneaky. Aha! You better drop that tall stack. Got him. Uh oh. Hey, that'll show you who's boss of you around here. Me. Oh, skaters! Get back here, Pangolin! The Antarctic core is a cold core, but it is the... Uh, uh, I got it here somewhere. Well, it's a cold core, but it is better than a mosquito body in the butt. <laughs> Next thing I gotta do is organize the supply shed. With that sneaky penguin out of the way, this job should be way easy. Guess I showed that scaredy penguin a thing or two or three about me. Hmm? What's this? From the office of Uncle Hogwash. Pack all pancakes in the mess hall onto a snowmobile. Have Private Chili Willy, right, that's you, have him remove them from the base. We have information that an infiltrator may be after him. Hmm, brilliant strategy. 
That's why my uncle is the Sarge. Nothing gets by him, no sirree. Carry on, Private Chili Willy. No! You're not in the Antarctic core! You are just a stinky little penguin cheater, and I don't like stinky little penguin cheaters! Oh! Stop! Understood. Yes, sir. And why? Because the Antarctic core is a cold core, but it's what? A uh, core with a lot of duties? No, it's a cold core, but it's sometimes warm. No, it's a cold core, but it's it's your core, Uncle. Yes. No. As head headhunter of this here operation, I live by the headhunter's motto. If you want them, we'll get them. Required immediately. One penguin for placement in beautiful tropical Montezuma Zoo. Beg money to find her. Mm-hmm. Bingo. It's a penguin, all right. Mush! Start the sled! Start the sled! I got him! I always get my man. <laughs> what are you stopping for, pup? <laughs> Mighty large pair of underwear for such a little feller. Ah, this'll stick him. <laughs> no, no, there are laws against this kind of thing, you know. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> This'll skunk him out. Isn't that thoughtful? Mmm, <laughs> lapso apso oolong, my favorite. A little cream and lots of sugar. Mmm. Kid, cut me some slack, will you? This is the offer of a lifetime. All I want is to take you to this tropical paradise. It's all expenses paid and tax deductible, plus all the fish you can eat. All right, all right, you can drive. Now, will you go with me? <laughs> What a workout. Woohoo! The headhunters are finally here. We got the tank all ready. It's set to sub 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 zero temperature and comes with its own iceberg for the penguin. So, which one is the penguin? <laughs> No, it's, it's, it's... To quote my great-granddaddy when he was taken into captivity... <laughs> and now a word from Smedley's Scrumptious Frozen Fish Dinners. Howdy! Are you a hungry TV watcher? Let me show you how I fast freeze all that great taste into my frozen dinners. I use only the most modern freezing methods available to man a dog. This here is liquid nitrogen. Whatever y'all do, do not try this at home. <laughs> Smedley's frozen fish dinners. Meanwhile, I'll search for a new freezing technique. That won't leave me broke. Dad, seven thousand three hundred. Current cash zero. You owe money in seventeen states and. <laughs> the Antarctic is the perfect place to find the newest fast freezing techniques that will succeed where my latest ideas have failed. Hmm, I could have sworn I heard something. Huh? 
Now, I definitely don't remember that there windsock. Owning a frozen dinner franchise can be a mighty chilly business. People will stop at nothing to steal your fast freezing secrets. The ice here in the Antarctic is the most frigidest ice in the world. And cold contact is my newest freezing technique. These here ice blocks will quick freeze my dinners faster than a bug in a blizzard. <laughs> now hold on one ice picking minute here, small fry. Special delivery. Send this pest to the remotest corner of the world. Now, if I place my dinner right here, the frigid wind chill factor from this here fan will blow on it. Then, when the thermometer drops to here, my dinners will be frozen solid. chill factor from this here fan will make the mercury in that there thermometer drop faster than a bad chin tuck. Hmm, looks like I'll need more wind chill than I first thunk. Long underwear, here I come. Right there, you snowbound bamboozler. You got no right taking this here food before it's properly frozen, and no right taking it, period, question mark. Do I make myself clear as an ice cube? Oh, little feller, say. You really are a fan of Smedley's frozen fish dinners. 485 thousand dollars for Smedley's frozen fish dinners from the Igloo Emporium. 96 cents. You gotta understand, I'm just trying to find the best method to fast freeze all that tasty freshness into my frozen dinners. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Why, of course! Who would know better the secrets of fast freezing than a penguin? One for you. And one for me. One for you. And one for me. One for you. And one for me. Yep. Like my Uncle Fretz always used to say, you can lead a penguin into water, but it takes one smart dog to make him fish for you. Oh, 
my, what have we here? A penguin behind enemy lines? Am I going to eat you? No, oh, no, no, heaven forbid! For you see, I am a vegetarian polar bear. We have sworn off all meat, my potbelly chum and I. So, you being just such a meat product yourself, are in no danger of becoming ordered in this facility. Tut, tut, there will be no squabbling. It could alert the enemy. Then all the glorious food in that hut would not become mine. No potato pie to be made from the mounds of spuds therein. No delicious banana nut bread. And no way in without being minced to shish kebab cubes. <sighs> what? Oh! <laughs> Destroy my element of surprise! <laughs> 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 you. There will be no more of your willy-minded duckiness. Is that clear? solution.
Now you listen here, you rutabaga robber, you <laughs> you horseradish highwayman. I demand my fair share of the spoils. <gasps> Oh, dear, not again. <laughs> ah, once more, into the breach. Oh, dear. The things I must endure. <laughs> 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 